Good morning. Thank you, Carl Johan Linnér, CEO of Soltex Technology, Thomas Isaksson, Chair of the Executive Board of Hofors, Svante Fielding, CEO, SMR Mineral, for the invitation to participate this important day at this inauguration of the Soltex World Unique Test and Research Center for Electric Calcination. I would like to congratulate you for this milestone. It certainly is a milestone where the place, the time and the form are significant. Let me start with the place. Hufos has a long history with a 2000 year tradition of steelmaking and industrial development. Over the centuries with periods of ups and downs, the Hufos district and its industries has raised, developed and moved on. Courageous decisions, investments and modernization have turned difficult times into opportunities, hope, new jobs and competitiveness. I would have loved to be physically in Hufors on this day to see the new facility with my own eyes. This is a landmark for Sweden as a modern industry nation and a world leader in the green industry transition. Continuing with timing, we are currently at a crossroads, a crucial moment in time when we must prove that a zero emissions future is possible. New technologies need to be implemented, industrialized and spread. Only a couple of years ago, we uh, still talked about heavy emitting industries like iron, steel, quicklime and cement as hard or even impossible to abate. But with Swedish traditions of industrial innovation, courage, determination and visions, we see the development and growth of new solutions. The industry is in the driving seat of the green transition. The role of the government is to enable your work. The central components of this are fossil free energy, Efficient, efficient permitting processes, skilled people and infrastructure. Finally, form. Globally, demand for green and low carbon solutions are growing. We see smaller startups collaborating with the old established giants. By cooperation along value change from local to global level and collaboration between companies, municipalities and countries, we can achieve sustainable growth and reduced climate emissions together in Sweden and abroad. At this inauguration day and for the above reasons, I am particularly pleased to welcome Soltex as a member of the leadership group for industry transition, LEADIT. LEADIT was launched in the 2019 uh, at the UN Climate Action Summit in New York. The initiative is jointly led by India and Sweden. It gathers countries and companies committed to achieve zero emissions from heavy industry by 2050. Members collaborate to develop policy and technology, financing mechanisms, increasing demand, just transition and increased knowledge for an ambitious and speedy transition. The distance between Hufors and Mumbai is getting shorter as the importance of collaboration increases. Indian companies are present in the green transition here in Sweden and, correspondingly, Swedish companies are active in India. The collaboration between us to achieve the global green industry transition and to collaborate on innovation is very promising and it holds great potential. I look forward to work with Soltex on your journey to a zero carbon future. I am convinced that we will have reason to meet again to celebrate more milestones in the years to come. Now, over to His Excellency, Mr. Tanmaya Lal, India's ambassador to Sweden and Latvia. Good morning, everyone. May I first thank the State Secretary for Climate and Enterprise, Mr. Daniel Westland, for inviting me here today for this special occasion. Our appreciation for Head of Secretariat of LEADIT, Per Anderson, and his colleagues at ACI for their continued good work. It is exciting to see another important engineering company join the LEADIT coalition. Our compliments to Soltex for their decision to join the LEADIT family and for their commitment to help global industrial decarbonization efforts. It is good to see that Soltex is also working with the leading Indian cement manufacturer, Dalmia Cement Bharat, who are a founding and active member of LEADIT and are investing significantly in growth and ambitious net zero targets. Having worked as a chemical engineer in cement and oil sectors in India, 
and later also as a climate negotiator, this is a matter of special satisfaction to see concrete engineering solutions and collaborative climate action. This leadership group for industry transition or lead it is a good example of real collaboration for a low carbon future. As the state secretary mentioned, lead it is a joint global initiative of India and Sweden that is bringing together a number of countries and companies across continents. Earlier this year, we had welcomed Tata Steel, one of the world's top steel producers, as a lead, uh, lead it member. Tata Steel have a presence in Sweden also. India-Sweden cooperation on environment and climate has a long history. It goes back more than five decades to the 1972 Stockholm Conference, which was the first ever UN Conference on Human Environment and that was hosted by Sweden. Today, clean technologies and sustainability solutions are an important and growing aspect of our business, technology, research and innovation linkages. I have had the opportunity to see some cutting edge clean technologies being developed and deployed by Swedish engineering companies, for instance in Pune in India, for global use. Similarly, there are Indian IT and engineering companies investing in clean manufacturing processes from forging to speciality steel in Sweden and providing complete digital sustainability solutions to large Swedish businesses. Swedish companies have been pioneers in engineering and are now leading in decarbonization from green steel to green batteries. Indian companies in steel, cement and pulp and paper sectors have been engaging with Swedish businesses for low carbon pathways. The scale and speed of the ongoing transformation in India is not only essential for India, but is also critical for the global success on climate action. At the same time, this transformation in the world's fastest growing large economy provides huge business opportunities and avenues for global economic growth going forward. Ahead of the next round of climate negotiations at COP28, we hope that uh, wisdom about the collective and complex nature of global climate challenge and the need for a just and equitable transition will be able to prevail over narrower pursuits. Once again, congratulations to uh, Soltex on their new test facility and on their joining the Leaded family. Thank you very much. <music>